Our bodies do all sorts of kooky things. Sometimes it can annoy us, or just confuse us. Small things like sneezing, or blushing can seem unnecessary, but many of these tiny strange bodily functions are actually ways for your body to defend itself against creeping health issues. Just like allergies trying to defeat invaders. The achy joints and ticklish sides are the spears, and swords in your body's fight to survive. Fun fact, the following weird signs you may experience at one point, or another are defense mechanisms. 1. Sneezes. However you forcibly expel air, mucus, and irritants out of your nose, with a cute chew or an antique car noise that sounds like it came out a WW1 veteran, sneezes are your body's way of expelling irritants from out of your respiratory tract. If you have allergies, or sneeze when you get into the sun sneezing can seem like the most annoying, seemingly useless thing ever, but it's your body getting rid of what it sees as enemy outsiders trying to invade your body. If you're sneezing all the time, you could be allergic to something in your environment, or your environment might have some issues. If you're allergic you can get an allergy panel from your doctor, but if it's in your environment, you might have some bigger problems. 2. Finger wrinkles. Those tiny raisin fingers you get from a long, well-deserved soak are actually your fingers way of giving you super grip when moist. It works through osmosis on the bottom of your feet and on your fingertips. So when you go to grip the edge of the tub, or those slippery rocks on the edge of a fantastically tropical waterfall, that you found yourself diving into. If you haven't given your hands a dip and your finger wrinkles are still popping, you might have some very serious issues going on. Dehydration, thyroid issues, and diabetes can all cause finger wrinkles without water around. Or if you get no wrinkles, it could be a sign of nerve damage. 3. Eye gunk. Eye gunk is pretty gross, but it actually accumulates all the time, like saliva. But when you sleep, it builds up since you don't blink, which means that your tear ducts aren't regularly washing away the Sandman's sleep. It's a great way for your body to get things out of your eyes. Contact wearers and allergy sufferers might see a little more buildup of this mucus, but if it can be washed away, and doesn't seem excessive it's not a huge deal. If you're starting to grow stalactites in the morning, or if the gunk seems off, watery, thick, green, etc., you might have a mild form of conjunctivitis, you should probably see a doctor, and wash your pillowcases more regularly. 4. Stress. Stress is the worst, it can make you breathe faster, your heart pump, your hair fall out, and can kill you deader than a squirrel puck on the side of HWY101. But it serves a purpose. It gets you moving and motivated. While you need stress to run when an earthquake happens, or raise your adrenaline levels when you need to flip a car, you also should be able to set them back down. Chronic stress can be harmful to your school work, health, and life. This is why managing your own stress levels, is so important when it comes to warding off health issues. 5. Being ticklish. Being ticklish is great, who hates laughing. But it can also be annoying, from almost kicking someone when getting a pedicure, to laughing your way through a massage, sometimes you wish you could just relax a little bit. Being ticklish is also a defense mechanism. It's how your body protected itself from bug infestations, and it teaches you to be defensive of the sensitive parts of your body. If you are super ticklish, it could just mean that your skin is good at knowing when it's touched, and that you would have made a great warrior. 6. Blushing. Blushing sounds adorable, you think of the little pink circles under the eyes, until it happens to you, and you look like a tomato that just came back from a week under the sun. Red, whole face. But that involuntary reaction might be one of the reasons, that your ancestor didn't get smashed to death by the tribe Alpha. It's a non-verbal cue that you can't fake that lets others know that you are embarrassed for what is happening. There's no real downside to blushing. You could even be a nicer person if you're an avid blusher. As long as it's not a mistaken windburn, or a sign of a circulatory problem, you should just keep blushing away. And know that we all think you're adorable when you blush, even if you don't. 7. Blinking. We don't think about blinking, but it's an important part of our health. 
while it seems silly to miss that microsecond every 10 seconds, but your eyeballs need it. Not only does it eliminate all that eye mucus from building up, it also wipes your vision centers from bacteria, dust, and deals with some damaging light exposure. All while spreading a magic mix of oil and mucus over your baby blues, or browns to keep them moist. If you are blinking all the time and it feels like a lot, a humidifier can take some of the moisture load off your big blinkers. Eye drops are also great, but excessive use can wash away some of that magic oil and mucus away. If you're seeing real problems with blinking all the time, you might have a dust problem or have an eye infection, and should visit your general practitioner. There are a lot of weird things your body does to help it maneuver better, or thrust foreign invaders out of it. If you're concerned about any of these defense mechanisms going on in your body, consider visiting your GP or take a more active role engaging with your health. An active role in your health can help you track your progress, and distinguish a pattern of how often these things common health problems happen. Plus, engaging with your health will help you manage your physical, and mental stability long into the future.